Hi, Captain Carl here. I'm working on a adjustable telescoping mast crutch for the boat so that I can single-handedly raise it and I need it to go up and down. So here's a plan I drew and it's got a pipe in the middle which is going to go up and down and this part Here's made out of two by fours. This is just going to attach to the railing and hold the pipe so it can't swivel back and forth. So I made the frame already and now I'm going to attach the pipes to it. So these are the pipes. They're one and a quarter and one inch uh, galvanized schedule 40 pipes. And the flanges so the idea is for to telescope to put one inside the other like so and then this will extend up and then I got a pin going to go through here and this will hold the mast at a nice high angle to start the mast stepping in also coming down and then there'll be a, a bow a roller on here 12 inches wide I'm going to use this hole saw which is one and three quarters Need to cut this pipe off. Okay, now I'm going to cut the uh, bigger pipe, cut about seven inches off of it with a grinder. Now it's time for ye old bastard file. Okay, this is the inside pipe, the one that extends out. I'm gonna make it 33. So it doesn't bottom out and hit the tiller. Thank <laughs> you. 
crossbar, uh, which will attach to the railings. Some three inch deck screws, they're waterproof. Okay, I'm going to use some uh, water-based spar urethane clear to make this waterproof because otherwise the 2x4s will just, uh, if it rains and snows, they're going to get water damaged in a couple years. <laughs> back and sticking out so that the wood just rests on the point and then you can just flip it over and it won't be touching the paper or the boards. It's just supported by the uh, four points of the screws. Saves a lot of time from having to wait to flip it over until one side dries. Okay, I'm putting on the third coat of uh, urethane. I sanded it lightly in between coats with 220. <laughs> Okay, I'm painting the um, telescoping pipes with uh, Rust-Oleum two times cover uh, semi-gloss white. It's for wood, metal, and plastic, and more. It's a. I've already put two coats on. I'm gonna do just a third light coat. Okay, I got the pipes painted, now I'm going to mount the pipe mount right here. Alright, so now I'm going to assemble the pipe, the outer pipe. So I roughed up the surface here, so I'm going to put some epoxy and epoxy that in. Alright, I'm going to make some epoxy. I'm using the uh, West System 205 Clear Fast Hardener. And I'm going to use some uh, high density filler so it's not so thin and it doesn't run all over the place. Teaspoon. That's still thin, but one more. Good. Put it on the pipe. Oh, yeah. Try not to make a mess. Put 
which is easy to do with epoxy. I'm going to put the bolts in. Okay, I'm drilling the hole. Drill the holes for the up position. Okay, the mask crutch is all done. So to operate it, you just take out this pin. goes up. There's another hole. Put the pin back in. Put the clip pin back on. And then the, the uh, pulley will be up here. The bow roller which will actually hold the mast up here. And then it'll be much easier to single-handedly raise the mast or much easier with two people too. Okay, it's almost spring here. Seven more days, but it's time to untuck the boat. And I'm super happy because now I can start rising.
the top of this pipe plan. Well, in the garage, while I'm working. Hmm? 